Hey guys, happy Saturday. Um, look, I was I'm on I was on my second iced coffee and like my fourth load of laundry when I ran out of stain spray and realized I was shaking. Why? Because I haven't had breakfast and here it is lunchtime. And um I had to go to the store anyway to get more stain spray, so I got some stuff to make a lunch. Um, for me, because I know what my kids are going to eat and they are, um, theirs is going to be easy, but I've been trying not to do easy because what they eat that's easy is not good for me. So what we're going to do is a, um, we're going to do a salad with shrimp and avocados and grapefruit. Okay. I'm going to close this door because <laughs> I, I mean, the TV's back anyway. So the first thing I'm going to do is so just to know, these are the steps that have already started, okay? We've got boiling water over here with salt in it. Um, and I have a big ice bath here. Like, it had a lot of ice in it, but what we know about water, it makes things melt. So we're gonna do this as fast as we can. You want more ice than you think you need because it's gonna start melting really fast, especially when those hot shrimp get on, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on flavoring the, the, the water we're gonna make sort of a quart bouillon, but not really. It's just, we're gonna put some stuff in there, some aromatic stuff to make it um, flavor the shrimp. So I have my sort of my martini lemon here, and I'm just going to finish off that peeling, okay? I'm gonna peel it straight into the water so it doesn't go flying around the kitchen. And then, as we have known in the past, but unfortunately it's unavoidable, I am now going to juice this lemon, which has a thinner skin and it's more slippery, um, but that's okay. This is the kind of salad where we're not, I'm not gonna use vinegar in the dressing, I'm gonna use lemon juice because it's a little more delicate. So I'm gonna do that really quickly while I'm thinking about it, which I probably should have put the other stuff in the court bouillon first, but you know, we've started doing it now. And what am I doing? I'm juicing both sides of this lemon very sort of gingerly because of the skin being um, compromised. And I did it in this little thing, remember, it, it keeps the seeds out. I'm just gonna kind of put that over here for a second. And, oh yeah, so we're gonna put the, um, we're gonna put like a pretty good sized bay leaf in the water for the shrimp. And uh, I put it on top of the peppercorns, but you know, and a little, little, little handful of uh, peppercorns, like a couple dozen, you know, about a teaspoon or something. I don't know what that is, a little handful. So that's just gonna do its thing for a second. Um, the next thing I am going to do, because I wanna do the, the raw things on a clean board, is I'm gonna take this grapefruit, okay? And I know that the urge is gonna be really strong to cut it in half. I do not want you to cut it in half. What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna cut down around the outside to expose the flesh, okay? And your first pass, you're not gonna know quite, kinda of looks like that, okay? You're not gonna know quite how thick that skin is, and you might have to do it a couple times, but don't worry about taking too much off, okay? I mean, this is a big grapefruit. I don't really wanna eat a whole grapefruit for lunch. I mean, I am not a 70s dieting woman. Did, have you seen that wine diet that Vogue put out in the 70s? So funny. It's like, you know, for breakfast, you can have half a boiled egg, or boiled egg, half a grapefruit, and a glass of wine. I mean, no wonder. The 70s were a very strange time. Okay, I'm gonna finish getting this all off. Now at this point, your grapefruit should kinda look like this, okay? It's running down my arm. And I'm gonna get all those peels off. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take little sections out of it by cutting along the lines, okay? Because all we want is the pulp. We don't want any of the white stuff, okay? That's how we do that. And I'm probably gonna do, I don't know, like half of the grapefruit. I'm gonna do this relatively quickly, I hope, because we don't need to be, and once you start going, you know, like the grapefruit starts falling apart, and you can just kind of, I mean, if I were a restaurant chef, I would do this a lot more beautifully, and I probably should be wearing an apron as per usual, but I'm not. Um, let's see if I can get a prettier one. <laughs> um, okay, 
So I'm gonna do a few more of these, just a couple. And then maybe what I'll do with the rest of this is juice it and have some grapefruit juice later. Or a grapefruit margarita, wouldn't that be nice? Okay, I'm gonna take this little pile of grapefruit segments that I have thoroughly mangled and put it on, oh, strip it. Put it on my, my salad plate over here, which is not beautiful, but it's gonna be good. And I'm gonna rinse my hands really quickly. And, boy, I should get a paper towel. <laughs> you guys we're back to our old tricks here okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is this avocado and 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 you know just between you and me I'm not sure what the state of this avocado is but we're gonna we're gonna chance it together okay um, I put it in the fridge which is kind of like a cryogenic yes it's still good okay so if you're taking the pit out which I don't advise because I'm probably not gonna eat this side hit it with your knife, right? And then twist it and it'll pull it out. Okay, and then, then you have whatever. But I'm gonna use the one that does not have the pit today. And I have this little guy here and it's so great because, you know, when I do the stick your hand in there and then it's all over your hands, you pull this down, it's like it has these little kind of piano wire things and it slices it for you. And I'm gonna put my plate over here now. So there, that's done. And it's also not very pretty. But now we have our grapefruit and our avocado. And what's next? What's next? What's next is our shrimp, okay? I um, I have, I bought a pound of shrimp. I'm not gonna eat the whole pound. I'm probably going to cook all of these and keep some in the fridge for just having. But I wanted to show you, because we've talked about this in the past, but we haven't done it together in a while, how we clean shrimp. Okay, so I kept a couple of them out. I mean, that's a good looking shrimp, right? And why did I get shrimp that need to be keep cleaned? Well, because all the ones that are already cleaned are farm raised, and you know how I feel about that. They don't taste as good. Um, it's, it's like not as good for the environment. And you know, the people who work in those little ponds like in Southeast Asia, it's kind of a sad life. So when you can, and, and you know, the reason that I found out about, well, the reason that I started doing this too is so I went to Balducci's one time to get shrimp for a party. And I, was, I had like called ahead, I was like, I need like 12 pounds of shrimp or whatever. And they were like, oh yeah, no problem. And I was like, I need them peeled and deveined, you know, cooked, tail on. Sure, no problem. I show up and the, the guy goes into the freezer, gets the bags, pours them into a giant bowl of water and starts swishing them around, smiling at me. So, you know, I mean, uh, you might as well do it yourself, but maybe not 12 pounds for a party. So we've got this guy, take off his legs. Okay, and what do we have over here? We have one of our bags of stuff to make shrimp stock for shrimp and grits later. Now, if you were gonna make shrimp cocktail, okay, and you want to keep the tail on, you see how it's sectioned? You just start at this last section and hold on to the tail so that you don't accidentally pull it. Okay, and then you just peel the top off. I'm gonna do this other one and then we'll devein them together. So this one I'm gonna do more like you would do like what I did with the rest of these. Took out the tail, the the legs and then you pinch its butt okay pull it there and that takes half of it off and then you take the rest now the deveining part you need a sharp little knife okay and go all the way down the back and I usually do this under running water all the way down the middle of the back remember go all the way down his colon does not stop in the middle of his body any more than yours does all right um, so there will be a vein in there and you just kind of pull it out. And it's, I mean, you don't want to eat that, right? Nobody needs to eat the poop shoot. And then the thing is, there's one here on the bottom too. And I don't know what that one is. Maybe that's, maybe one's the indoor and one's the outdoor. I have no idea. I should probably research these things, but then I'm going to rinse these off before, and I'm going to go ahead and take this tail off since I don't need it. Um, okay. I'm gonna do the second one. And as I said, I usually do this under running water, which makes the process both cleaner and more efficient because the water helps um, 
pull the stuff out for you. Okay, there's that one. I'm gonna rinse these off and wash my hands and then we'll kind of throw the shrimp in and talk about the rest. And then, I mean, by the time I finish telling you all this stuff, the shrimp will be done and we'll shock them and when we'll go along our way, okay? <clears throat> All right. Oh wait, I was gonna wash my hair. Why? Well, because I need mean, I my loud faucet. A friend of mine who was visiting was like, I have an extra faucet at my house. Do you want me to send it to you? And it's like, no, you know what that is? It's calcium in the water and I just need to do the thing you need to do with it. Although I probably need a new faucet too. Okay, so we're gonna make a quick dress. Oh, that's what we're gonna do. Um, as you can, I'm a little shaky. So, shrimp in the water for like a minute, okay? Not any longer than that. When they turn pink, it's time to go. I'm gonna get my little skimmer here. Oh! Gotta hit my head with some cupcake wrappers. Okay, so here's our little skimmer, our old Chinese skimmer, our old friend Chinese skimmer. And I'm gonna make a quick dressing, okay? This is probably more lemon juice than we need, and I might just take half of this. So just use half the lemon, you guys. I'm not enthusiastic, a little over-enthusiastic. And I'm just gonna put some olive oil in there. And I'm actually not gonna do anything more than that. I had a moment I thought I might put some, um, do that and some like pepper, okay? But I'm not going to do anything more than that. We don't need anything more than that. You know, maybe I'll do a little tarragon. I have some chives here from the garden that I'm going to snip over it. So that's the top to that. And um, here we go. Oh, yeah. See, the shrimp are already done. As we've been sitting here talking about the dressing. So I'm going to take these out. I mean, it's ridiculous how fast they cook, you guys. See? See? Done. And don't worry if you get little bits of your aromatics in there. It's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. You can pick them out. Okay, and just swish that around a little bit. Let it sit. And turn off your water. And that's it, okay? And then we'll I'll put some tarragon and some chives on it. And we'll, it'll, we'll have a very nice lunch. Now, which greens did I use? Now, I've seen that I don't ever, I see this on restaurant menus all the time. And I don't get it. Why? Because they always put it with arugula, and I think arugula is gross. I know that I'm like in the minority on that, but you know, we should not be eating food that makes us gag. Eat it at home. See how easy it is? Even with me being low blood sugar and crazy. <sighs> Have a great day. Happy Saturday. Wish me luck with my laundry adventures, and um, you know, enjoy this wonderful weekend. Oh, and again, yeah, this is like the kind of thing you need to eat when it's like 100 degrees outside because, you know, in days past, maybe it was me eating like a can of tuna over the sink and a cucumber, but you know, we're grown ups now.